The Parliamentary Archives holds over four million records that contain the collection of documentary evidence from both the House of Commons and House of Lords. There are around 64,000 original Acts of Parliament um, on parchment and we have format materials that contain audiovisual right up to the present day as well as parchment seals, paper, manuscripts and printed books. We have a small dedicated team that work to digitise the collection and my team in particular, the Conservators, help to prepare items and support that service. The reason why we can't digitise the whole collection is because it would take decades to manage the whole process. It would also be very costly. We also have all sorts of shapes and sizes in our collections that would take an awful lot of time to manage in the process. No major library or archive has managed to digitise more than 5% of their collection and digitisation has been going on for many, many years. When we receive a request for digitisation, the first thing we do is retrieve the item from the repository. We may need to call in Collection Care, this is my team, to look at any stabilisation needs. The collection care check is really to check the condition of the item before it is going to be photographed. The problem we have is we do have a lot of collections that are actually in very good condition but you also have some collections in very poor condition and that would mean there'd be cuts and tears, it might be very dirty, there are losses. Before the photographic process occurs, which is also a risk to the collection if the item isn't stabilised, we have to make those repairs. Once we've done all our checks and we're happy that the item is stabilised enough for photography, we hand it over to the digitisation team. So once I've received the document, um, I'll set up my workstation. Um, I'll make sure my camera's level, turn on the lights and turn on the computer. We have a sort of array of equipment that we can use to help us get the best images possible. The public has an expectation nowadays to view images online and we need to produce the best we can. There's a sort of a, a complete array of documents uh, in the archive. Some are very simple to photograph, some are rather more complex. We do have some very large documents which will be made up of hundreds of images uh, and it will take a long time to photograph them all. But we don't want to do it very often because they're fragile. So it's worth doing correctly once. So one of the great benefits of digitisation is that we can upload images onto the internet and they are viewable around the world. It is important that we digitise these documents because they are historically and constitutionally important. Digitisation isn't the end of the process. The challenge today is that we still have to store and archive these images for the future.